I finally made it over to the new Kosciuszko Bridge and its bicycle and pedestrian 20 foot wide path. And the path is beautiful. It's amazing. Of course, there's too many lanes for cars. We didn't need more lanes for cars in this city. One thing that's really hard to criticize would be the views and the views are spectacular. You can see so much. I've been over this bridge a few times by car and I never thought I'd be standing on the roadway looking out over Manhattan. So another thing I haven't heard people talk about the new bridge is how easy it is to ride up to the top. The angle, the slope, the gradient, call it what you will. The approach is just so easy. And you know if you've ridden over the Queensboro or the Williamsburg Bridge, the angle on those two are incredible at points. I'm in gear three, starting to approach uh, mid-span. Hardly any breathing. So here I am on the Brooklyn end of the new span. And let me just say flat out, the connections here for bicyclists are crap. But just coming off the bridge and doing some loops and checking out every street that connects, I was actually so scared by trucks that I rode on the sidewalk for a little while. I also found that people aren't obeying the stop sign here. When you get off at Van Dam Street, that truck right there just went right through. I've seen dozens and I've only been here for a few minutes. So here I am on the Queens side and there's a nice little plaza here with some benches and it is nicely insulated from the roadway above. So you could actually sit here and have a nice peaceful picnic if you really wanted to. The connection over here is not nearly as chaotic, noisy, and scary, but still the connections to get here really need to be improved. One really easy, great improvement would be to throw a protected bike lane on 43rd Street all the way from Sunnyside's wonderful protected bike lane. Bring it right down 43rd Street, right over here to the bridge. You would have families, you have so many more people be able to access this bridge. The opening of this bridge will shave a dramatic amount of time after your commuting if you're going to lower Manhattan. For me in Jackson Heights, riding my 61 pound work cycle, uh, it's about 50 minutes to an hour. If I use this bridge, I can guarantee you I will be taking about 10 minutes off my commute. And that's big uh, if you multiply that times monthly, times yearly. And that's another reason why we have to make the connection to this bridge safe and get the word out that this bridge is open.